Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? This is Latouris from the Conceited Nobody Podcast doing this impromptu video uh, tackling some of the topics to concern the election. Um, as we know, Donald Trump is on the ropes. He's flailing, doing anything he can to try to get a semblance of victory. Um, it's not looking too good for him. Team Joe Biden is in the lead and I said election, but I mean selection. Anybody know how this system run? Know that this, uh, it's all scripted. It's all a game, all a joke. Uh, I just want to talk about my perspective on things and how they transpire and what exactly it means for the country and then the country within the country, meaning my people to uh, so-called African Americans. First off, I'm just I'm bothered by the um, the sheep mentality that our people display time and time again. I'm trying to make this video fast. Cause I'm trying to post it on a few sites and Instagram I'll only let you get 15 minutes. But anyway, anybody know anything or pay attention to anything know that 2020 has been a unrelenting um, assault on Donald Trump. Uh, from when he first got instituted as the <laughs> president of this country, they, they villainized him as some racist, some person who was just an idiot. And we all know prior to this, uh, he was beloved in particularly by the hip hop community for whatever reason. We know that We've been taught as youth to uh, identify with a worship money. He was the person who they ran to. He, uh, Bill Gates, and whatever, Warren Buffett, all that. Black men have been taught to uh, idolize rich white men. And it's crazy to me. Aside from that and zooming through to where I want to be with this. Uh, I told a couple of my buddies or anybody who pay attention to anything I say, which is nobody, that... 2020 was an assault on Donald Trump in the context of everything that went wrong this year, whether planned or not, always came back to Donald Trump, whether it be this corona, uh, to the police shootings, everything always seemed to find its way back to Donald Trump. And with, I tell people that Donald Trump has been castigated more than any president in history by the media. We've never seen an assault, assault on someone in such a prolific way where uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google, all these entities, uh, Google News, Yahoo News, they all write disparaging art articles about Donald Trump. And he don't do himself any favors because he's a maverick. He's the person who don't, he, he's not a politician. Donald Trump is a business man. He don't know how to politic in my opinion. He don't know how to uh, play the game. And I think that this is what led to his downfall and his demise because he's an unsympathetic character. It's easy to vilify for him for anything. Uh, when people didn't want to wear masks and Donald Trump said the common sense shit, if you ain't sick, don't wear no mask uh, or something to that sort. People start saying he didn't care about health. When um, black people was getting shot by the police, which has been going on for years, we've been assaulted since we got here. Uh, it got a ridiculous amount of media attention. They made people start feeling like Donald Trump didn't care about black people because he wouldn't wear a book, a Black Lives Matter do-rag. But they don't understand the game where nobody cares about us. We weren't sent here on vacation. I tell people that for the most part, we were, we were the only demographic of people in this entire country that was forced here. We, we, we didn't come. We didn't come in a cluster with our cousins and things like that to where we controlled our environment. We were forced here and forced to assimilate. All of a sudden, people thought because they was talking about Black Lives Matter, NBA, which is a super liberal organization that make a lot of money overseas, they was really a proponent of this. They let these uh, goofy athletes put, I'm a man on the back of my shirt, uh, don't shoot all these silly phrases and stuff that's easy for the simple minded people to attach to and love and adore and it creates this dynamic that's that's it's hard for me to identify with or even believe that takes place we we've grown up on idol worship we worship these entertainers 
um, and it's sick, and in turn they're able to sway the way we think or observe culture. Um, it's tough. He fucked himself. But my main point is, I got a few points. First, the whole attack on Donald uh, Trump wasn't just because they didn't like Donald Trump. It's they don't like what he stands for. He's If you identify with America, if you feel like you're an American and you believe in so-called freedoms and liberties, Donald Trump would have been your man. But being that there's a globalist agenda, a global economy that trumps Donald Trump's Make America Great Again stance or the um, national economy, they got to get that money overseas. And people don't understand what globalism is. So you vilify Donald Trump to make it easy for him to get up out of there. And to get your full sway with the black voters, you do things like create these media distractions or you highlight these police slangs. And you always have a racial narrative with it to trigger emotions. I call it the nigger trigger. And what I mean by that is it's certain buttons you can push with black people that'll get them riled up. And it's funny because you have to tell black people when to be mad and when to be happy. It's nothing organic because we lost people. So you get them all hyped up off the George Floyds and it's crazy because they hold Donald, black people hold Donald Trump to a higher standard in dealing with black people than they held Barack Obama. But I don't, like I said, I'm trying to make this video kind of short. I'm really rambling. This, this is a hot take. Biden looks like he's going to be the president. And what I'm, I'm disturbed about is how black people are celebrating. I understood the, the uh, Obama celebration. Um, being in this captivity for so long, we get addicted to, you know what I'm saying, empty um, semblances of achievement. Like we feel like we achieved something from achieving nothing. Like niggas go crazy when they when they see their favorite rapper win a Grammy, or when they see a black person get nominated for an Oscar because they feel like it's a white award. And we hold ourselves to the standards of white people. We judge ourselves, our success and our failures by the standards of white people. The same people that we claim are oppressing us, we look to them to validate us. And this is um, apparent with the Joe Biden thing. I'm seeing athletes, goofy LeBron James, who's a, a liberal whore. All his, his whole ambition is to be a billionaire, as he stated. Um, he's sharing things. Bonzi Will sharing shit. These niggas are not intelligent. They're athletes. That's all they are. All these people out here who act like they are Charlemagne the God, these people out here publicly supporting Joe Biden are a disgrace. And you talk about our ancestors would have wanted us to do this. Um, I don't know what lineage you people are from, but I'm sure my ancestors would be like, kill all these motherfuckers. My ancestors. Um, as opposed to what you say, vote. And it, it's goofy, but y'all won. And my thing is, what did you win? With Joe Biden winning, what did you win? Um, again, I didn't have a horse in the race, but I, if I'm acting intelligently and I'm using my common sense, if I was a voting man and if I did identify as an American, I'm going to go for somebody who has ide ideas similar to mine, which would have been Donald Trump. Um, Joe Biden, and this is only for the people who have morals and standards they adhere to. He's pro-abortion and he's pro-homosexuality. And, and whatever people do, that's their business. I'm not talking about that. But if you consider yourself, which I see a lot of people, they talk about they're Christian, which is some goofy, but it's whatever. Or any, if you have any morals or you stand on any um, religious high grounds, I don't understand how you identify with a party who's always complicit with the destruction of the black community, ranging from um, the, the uh, industrial prison system to the family planning abortion assault, which is the biggest killer in the black community assault. I mean, sorry, abortion. But when you ask our people to be accountable or change their lives and stuff, they clam up and they refuse to do it. It's sick. We always look to the people we, we consider our oppressors to be our heroes. And it, it's again, y'all here drawing uh, uh, memes and stuff, got <laughs> Joe Biden dancing with a do-rag. And it, it's remarkable to me how ignorant y'all are. And it, it's disheartening at the same time. 
Because when I speak out, I don't speak out from an empty place. I speak out from a place of affection. Like, I truly do care about our people. But I care about our people as much as they care about themselves. So if I ever call you an idiot, or if I ever make the blanket statement and say that black people are idiots, I'm only talking about the idiotic black people. And again, if I ever seem harsh, it's because I'm, I'm only talking to us. Anybody else who hear it, they just a bystander, and I don't give a shit how they feel about it. In fact, I don't give a shit how you feel about it. I'm not pro-black. I'm pro-truth. I'm pro-morals. Uh, I'm pro... More importantly, let me digress. I'm pro-Yahuwah, the almighty Elohim of Israel. And y'all be talking all this God stuff, and y'all don't have any idea what a God is or who the God is you serve. Because the gods you serve is the prince of this world, and it's apparent by your actions. But look, nothing's going to change for the better for you. This is all an illusion. This was all set up. They used 2020 just to get y'all all riled up against Donald Trump. There's never been an assault in the media of a president. They didn't do Obama this bad. They treat Donald Trump worse than they treated Saddam Hussein. Sit on that for a minute. Meditate on that. And, and think about it objectively. Don't think about your uh, sensitivities when you think about these things. Let's step back from our feelings and try to analyze everything's going on. Coronavirus was Donald Trump's fault. George Floyd got uh, shot because of Donald Floyd. I'm sorry, Donald Trump. Breonna Taylor got shot because of Donald Trump. Your children are bad as fuck because Donald Trump. Your high blood pressure is out of control because of Donald Trump. Your diabetes is going bad because Donald Trump gave you six Snickers. What's Joe Biden going to do? Is Joe Biden going to stop uh, police brutality? Uh, he's a proponent for the police. Uh, Obama, he was a proponent for the police. He never stepped up and spoke out uh, brazenly against the inconsistencies and injustice in America. He just shot a three-pointer. He fell out of bracket for his NCAA team or his picks, and y'all fell in love with that. And that's okay. But this is where we divide the intelligent from the sheep, where we divide the wise from the ignorant. And there's no way I'm... A, I don't say this stuff with, like, I'm not happy that y'all dumb. I'm not happy that y'all ignorant. It, it breaks my heart. And, and it's a... Matter of fact, I, I digress. Ignorance, we've all been there. We all have to learn and accept truth. But y'all just idiots because y'all refuse to accept it. Y'all are so caught up in being comfortable. Y'all choose comfort over intelligence every time. And then y'all wonder why y'all have the same results every time. Black men, you should be ashamed of yourself. I hold y'all to a higher standard than anybody here. And y'all idiots. Y'all monkeys. Y'all jackasses. Y'all follow women around. Y'all don't stand on nothing. You weak minded and you vaginal. And I say that with the utmost respect to those who are the opposite of what you are. Um, again, I'm rambling. I don't have any particular topics. I wish I'd have written something down, but I had to wait a couple of days to say this stuff. <laughs> Make sure I wasn't saying it from an emotional state. I really thought about this and I feel everything I'm saying. But here's how it's going to go nothing's going to change. Joe Biden, he's going to revert back to who he is. Um, I really. And y'all don't know, but I really don't know what y'all expect out of all this. Y'all don't have any tangible uh, ideas of what y'all wanted Biden to do. Y'all just wanted some in there, uh, someone in there other than Trump. And that is the most idiotic stance a person could take or a group of people could take. And, and for the record, I do believe they cheated. I believe they cheated on these ballots. Uh, they they set the tone early. People don't understand how, how these things work. You. You start, you don't start the alphabet at Z or even R. You start at A. You start playing it from the beginning. You set the tone. You say things like, okay, this corona's out of control. Uh, people don't want to get sick of the polls, so we're going to start taking absentee balance, things of that nature. And you put it in their mind like, okay, so people going to be sending things in. But now, Trump is ahead and uh, was ahead in these states. And all of a sudden, oh yeah, we got these votes. <laughs> And it's all convenient, but it don't seem strange to nobody because one, they been said they was going to do the absentee voting. Two, they was asking Donald Trump, well, what you going to do if the uh, 
if the vote's messed up or whatever. He's like, I'm a protest. So they were setting him up. They set this whole narrative up a long time ago to make it not look messed up when you get here. So that's what they do. They 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 like it. Can you imagine them in history asking any president if you lose, are you gonna lose the White House? I mean, are you gonna leave the White House? Like they ask him the most loaded questions, and he's not, he's a fucking jackass. He can't help it. It's it's in it's in his DNA. He just say what's in the, on his mind. He don't know how to politic. And I don't fault him for that. He's a businessman. So he just talk how he talk. So with his cowboy attitude, his maverick attitude, it's, it's, it turned people off for whatever reason. Anyway, this is a setup. It's all a ploy. I don't, it bothers me how much, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if y'all can identify with this. I'm sure you, I'm sure you can't. It's hard being this smart, this aware, and this intelligent. When you're sitting around a bunch of idiots. When you got to get on Instagram and see idiots posting idiotic things. And then, being that there's so many people who's complicit in being stupid, they feel more intelligent or empowered because it's a bunch of stupid people saying, yeah, you're right. And that's my dilemma. That's where I'm at with this whole thing. I understand Thanos. I understand the needs to snap my finger. Y'all better keep me away from the Infinity Stones. But anyway, I say that in jest. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen as far as this shit's concerned, but as far as the future's concerned, the United States is marked for destruction anyway. If y'all don't come up out this Babylon, y'all going down with it. We all have to repent, turn back to the Most High, the Almighty Yahuwah, our only sovereign, our only power. Because when the wrath come, Biden ain't going to save you, Kamala ain't going to save you. In fact, Donald Trump wasn't going to save you. You have to save yourself by being obedient, leaving this system. Stop celebrating these devils and demons. And I'm not using that in reference to skin color or anything like that. That's a spiritual thing. But anyway, you know, uh, I hope y'all y'all got y'all president. Uh, I hope he break dance for y'all. I hope he uh, who I hope he I don't know do the centipede. I hope Joe Biden and his 78-year-old hips can do the running, man, or whatever. I hope he make a TikTok video with Megan Thee Stallion and whoever else y'all idolize, and I hope it's off the hook. I hope your hearts are content. I'm sure y'all don't care anything about the economy, uh, jobs, because y'all all trying to be social media superstars. Y'all all trying to get to the bag. <laughs> On social media, y'all don't have any real. It's sad. But shout out to uh, <laughs> the intelligence. Shout out to those who desire to have intelligence, those who are not sheep. And again, I only say this out of love. I castigate you. I tell you, an idiot, because I want to see you get smart. But I know that it's written that a lot of y'all going to perish. And I, I, I shed not a tear for y'all. Again, this was my hot take. Video went much longer than I anticipated, but um, if I'm wrong, I pray that both sides forgive me anyway. But I am upset, not at anything about this selection process, but your reaction. Y'all here embarrassing me. Y'all here embarrassing our ancestors. Our ancestors, who y'all so, who y'all was turned up for on Juneteenth. Y'all was out here blacking out your profiles, saying y'all wasn't gonna buy from white people, y'all's only buying from black people, then y'all turn around and say, Biden saved me. Y'all let them pimp y'all with that Kamala, that goofy, bad wench, she don't care about y'all. She's She was just calling Joe Biden a racist and a rapist last year, and that's y'all hero. But listen, I'm, I'm, I'm holding y'all accountable for intelligent things when y'all idiots, and I apologize. And this is my impromptu um, conceited nobody. We've been off the air. I had to get a new interface, but I'm going to bring up my old one. We will be back Tuesday. And I don't know. Stay up. Biden, Black Power. <laughs>